Automations are one of the most powerful features in Church Track. You can use automations to do things like send a birthday message to your people automatically, or have leadership notified when a new name is added to your database, or create a recurring transaction in the accounting screen. Do you want to have last month's giving report automatically emailed to the finance team on the first Monday of the month? Yeah, there's an automation for that too. The capabilities are almost limitless. So let's show you how to get started. So first, log in to your Church Track user account and navigate to the settings and automation screen. From there, select the automations tab. Now here you can add your first automation. So I'm gonna show you how to add, oh, we'll use a simple one. How about a birthday message? So I wanna send out a birthday message to my people on the day of their birthday via email, just wishing them a happy birthday. And so I will name it birthday message. And what's really cool is we actually have some pre-built templates to help you out. So I'm gonna go ahead and use send a birthday message template to do this and then I will click Add Automation. And this is so cool. It already added the action and the option. Now the action, that is the what is happening. So in this situation, the email, that's the what, that's gonna be going out to my people on the day of their birthday, wishing them a happy birthday. And by the way, you can actually use those curly brackets to insert first name, so that way it'll automatically put that person's name in there when it wishes them a happy birthday via email. So we've got that action saved. And then the automation options, that's the who and the when. And so right here, it's set daily at 9 a.m. to run. So every single day, this automation runs and it's going to be sending this message to people on our smart list whose birthday is today. And what's so cool is it actually created a smart list automatically with people whose birthday is today. And you can see that right here to pull that birthday is today. So that's just creating one automation and that was from a pre-built template. So again, your automation actions, that is the what is happening and then those options are the who and the when. Now let's go ahead, get deeper into this and let's create our first custom automation here. So I'll click the add button again. And now we are gonna name this automation and we will do an automation for Oh, let me think something good. How about a new guest follow up here? Now, when you're creating your own automation that's not from the template, uh, you have the option to choose either a people automation or an application automation. So people automations, they're specific to the people screen, enabling you to automate actions such as sending an email or a text, adding a note, creating a task, and so much more. Now, application automations enable you to automate actions like accounting transactions or emailing reports. So in this situation with new guest follow-up, that's definitely a people automation. So I'll add automation. And now I'm ready to start adding my action and my options. So again, action, that's the what, what is happening here. Uh, so I'll click add new action and I will select what I want to happen. Now we have a lot of different options. So I encourage you to just kind of check them out get familiar with them. But in this situation, I want to send an email. So we have to send an email to a church track user, but I want to send an email to that person who has just visited our church, that new guest. So send an email and then I'll configure the action options. So from here, I can create the email subject. Hello, and you know, thanks for visiting our church, whatever you wanna say. Obviously, I would probably recommend something different from that, but just to give you the idea of you know, writing the message, hi, and then use those curly brackets, first name, so the system will automatically input their name in there, and then whatever you wanna put in. So I'll save that. And so I've got my action, which is the what is happening. Now I will create my options. So the who and the when. Uh, so right here it says disabled and pause by default. So I'll select that. And now I can select the schedule. When do I want this to happen? Do I want this to happen at once a day? Do I want this to happen every day? Now, I also had the option to have something triggered. Now, triggers are really cool, and in this situation, it's actually the best way to use them. So I'm gonna say that when a tag is assigned to a person in my database, then it's going to trigger this particular automation. And so I've already got a tag created in my database that's called new guest. And so new guest, and I will save changes. 
and that's it. So triggers, there, there are no other automation options with triggers, by the way. Um, so when a tag is assigned, which is new guest, it's automatically going to trigger this automation to send out that email to that specific person who just got tagged. Super cool. Uh, so that is creating an automation for people. Now let's dive a little deeper. Let's talk about creating an automation uh, for the system itself and the application. So I'm adding another automation here and we're gonna name this one. How about, I want the system to automatically send the monthly giving statement uh, via email to our treasurer. So I want our treasurer every single Monday, the first Monday of the month, I want my treasurer to see the total giving for the church in a monthly report. So I'm gonna call this monthly giving report. And this will be an application automation in this situation, not a people automation. And then add automation. Okay, so I don't have any actions and I don't have any options yet. So I'm going to go ahead and create my action, which is the what. And we're going to say that I want a giving screen report to be this action. So I'll configure the options here for that. And so now I can choose the report. Um, I want it to be a category overview, just a generic overview. And I'll have that sent to our treasurer, Matt, automatically selected the first person that happened to be our treasurer. And then I can choose a date range. So in this report, I want this report to be from the last month, but we have you a lot of options you can choose here. So save action. And there we go. So I've got my action saved, which is the what. Now I can go to my automation options, the who. Um, and so the, the who and the when, I want to go ahead and select here the time I want this to run. So I want this to run on a day of the month. And I want this to be not the first Sunday, but the first Monday at 9 a.m. Save changes. There we go. So uh, now I have got this automation saved in which every single first Monday of the month, uh, my treasurer is gonna get emailed that giving report. So pretty cool. Uh, another thing I want you to let you know of is anytime you can edit an automation and pause it or disable it, all you have to do is select the options and then just adjust it to be disabled. Uh, this is really great just because there may be situations in which you want to pause some of your automations for time. Um, you can easily do that. Uh, another thing too is an automation can have multiple actions. So this automation that I just created for sending out that monthly giving statement, if I wanted, I could add another action and I could create another report and maybe that one goes to a different person, a different church track user. So it's really cool how you can really just customize out all of these automations to be able to do exactly what you need to do in your ministry. Now, there's a whole lot going on here with automations and to really help you kind of get some more inspiration and see all the different ways that you can use automations to help your church. We've got you covered with the article automation recipes. So totally check that out. Uh, it's filled with many of the popular automations and how to do them. It's just showing you how to create these automations. Uh, and if you want to share or maybe get some inspiration from other church track users like yourself with some of the automations, join our church track users group on Facebook to really take things to the next level. Now, all this talk of recipes has got me hungry. Maybe I should create an automation for lunch. <laughs> See ya.